But a big part of the recommendations here focus on this notion that it's complicated. People are dealing with a lot of different issues depending upon which sector they're coming from and where they're trying to go and what their circumstances are. And in most cases, they're going to need more of a push, more of a lift, more of a hand, more of a, um, more of a base of support um, than you might find through a traditional career center type model. And I think in some ways, uh, for us, that meant having a discussion about how we might want to support that in our fiscal 17 budget. And what we decided to do was to make about a $5 million investment in a series of targeted initiatives that basically build on the work of the task force and are designed to elevate um, and, and support some of the ideas that came about as a result of the, of the task force work. Um, one is to launch what we're calling a new economic opportunity fund, which would basically partner with businesses uh, to offer job training and employment opportunities to people who face a lot of these employment barriers. It's going to be a lot more hands-on than the type of stuff you traditionally see um, through a traditional career center type model. And it will certainly allow us uh, to work with community-based organizations and others to provide a much deeper and in some cases more targeted and specific level of support than we might have seen historically. Okay, and build on the things that work as we go forward. We're also going to put $2 million uh, into the Workforce uh, Competitive Distrust. It's the first time that program will have been funded for two consecutive years in a row. It's always been a little bit of an afterthought. Yeah, you go ahead and clap. It's always been a little bit of an afterthought at the end of the process. Um, this is targeted specifically to the populations uh, that this report was all about. Um, we want to make it sort of a permanent part of our infrastructure and our approach to managing this stuff. Um, and I think it's one of those things um, that has shown, despite the fact that it hasn't had what I would describe as sustained support, ability to be successful if it has that kind of sustained support in creating opportunities for the types of folks that we're looking to try and serve here. And then in keeping with this model of trying to do more of what works, um, we're also going to put another million dollars into uh, a program that was originally launched in Hamden County. Uh, that helped former uh, offenders re-enter uh, society with job training. It was actually very successful. It's something that was developed by Sheriff Ash. What we're going to do is, uh, is make it a statewide effort. Um, it was a, a re-entry partnership that was coordinated through the Sheriff's Office in conjunction with two local one-stop career centers and the Hammond County Regional Employment Board, basically working with um, offenders who were um, coming did their time, paid their debt to society, were coming back out um, and looking for work. And over the course of several years, about 3,000 people received uh, the services and support over three years, and about 60% of them obtained employment, which is a pretty terrific track record in a part of Massachusetts um, that, generally speaking, has its own contextual issues with respect to employment and, uh, um, and job creation overall.